Today we're going to be testing brass cartridge annealing again. We've got a 243, a 280, a 303, and a 7 millimeter, and there they are, that's all I know about them. So today we're going to be testing a two turn three layer coil. A few days ago we tested a three turn two layer coil. That one had uh, 1.274 microhenries of inductance. This coil has 1.426 microhenries of inductance. I've created a spreadsheet about this that I'll publish somewhere along the line or make a link in the description. So, let's get on with it. Cooling water's on, power supply's running, that's the fan you hear. I'm not even running the fan on the radiator cooler for this setup because we don't generate enough heat to make it a problem. Room temperature and the temperature of the water is 67.3 degrees Fahrenheit for whatever that's worth. Okay, so we turn on the power and for this coil we have let's call it 8 amperes of idling current and the frequency is 90.57 kilohertz at idle and I'll be propping up each one of these cartridges as needed so that it uh, so that the top of the cartridge is even with the top of the coil we'll start out with the 243 and I will prop it up so that the top of the neck is even with the top of the coil and then, as I've done before, I'm just going to count the seconds off so I could be off a second or two. But the point is here, uh, we will count till it glows and see what happens. So here we go with the 243, 92.31, 10 amps, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, go, and final frequency 92.36 and 10.1 or 2 amps. That's the 243. Okay, now the 280, 280. 10 amps, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, starting to glow. And that final current, maybe 10.2 amps, 90, 92.5 kilohertz at the end there. Okay, now we're going to go for the 303. Okay, the 303 is in there now. Turn on 10 amps, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, go. Frequency 92.25, 10 and a quarter amps at the end. Okay, here we go with the 7 millimeter. 10 amps, 93.13, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, glow. And 10 and a half amps, 93.17 kilohertz. Okay, so there's the test. I haven't even looked at the results myself. I'll have to watch the video to uh, see what happened. Okay, that's it for this test. Now we need to compare the numbers. Water temperature went from, uh, was it 67 degrees to 74 during that time? And that's just fine. 